Hello, this is Thomas, K4SWL. If you're new here, I normally do real-time, real-life amateur radio field activation videos. Today, I'm doing a, an activation, but really not much of a video. I'm actually here at Mount Mitchell State Park uh, with Hazel. Hazel? And, um, and my wife and daughters. They're just away at the moment. And so I thought I'd do a really quick, like, three-minute video mainly because I, I'm going to squeeze this activation in. We have, uh, you can see clouds moving in, and um, I'm afraid here in the next probably 30 minutes I may have to come off the air because of either rain or um, electrical storms. But anyway, I have a new antenna that's on loan to me right now, uh, the Res antenna. And you've seen this probably um, reviewed on other channels and things. And Mike kindly uh, sent me this. Mike with Res Antenna sent this to me. And it's been the first time I've actually had a chance to take it out to the field, really. The uh, antenna, as everyone said, it is super, super high quality. That I can say. Like, this is amazing quality. Um, the connectors, the all the hardware, uh, this uh, stainless steel uh, coil that's tapped with the sliding tap and uh, the little military whip that goes on top. Perfect for Mount Mitchell. Uh, as you can see, there are trees around, but Mount Mitchell doesn't have super tall trees. And over here around the picnic area where I am now, there's not a super convenient one. I've put wire antennas up here, but it's really a better place for a vertical. Uh, I've operated field day here before with Hazel, with my family, with uh, uh, Vlado in 3CZ. And I'm not hearing a lot on the 20 meter band today, and I think that's because we're still recovering from the radio blackout uh, that we had. Uh, we, we got hit with some heavy stuff from the sun, but I'm looking forward to putting this on the air. What I'll do, I didn't show anything about tuning it or deploying it or anything like that, again, because my family's here, and we can't really do a video, and uh, they can't carry on normal conversations while I'm doing an activation video. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> that's why I'm doing this today. Um, It'll be fun. I haven't activated Mount Mitchell State Park for POTA this year this far, I don't think. Um, maybe I have earlier, I can't remember. But I'm looking forward to using this antenna, hopefully getting enough contacts to make a valid activation. I'll be coming back here probably within the next month or two to do a um, soda activation, and maybe I'll bring it for that when I do that. I could do a soda activation now, it's not very far away. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep it nice and relaxed. And uh, yep, hop on the air. Oh, I should show you. I'm actually using my uh, Pentec TR35L, or TR45L, and it has a perfect match. Actually, in 20 meters, I've got a one-to-one -one match, and I just took the uh, wires, and I'm sure that Mike, when he loaded these um, counterpoises up, there are four counterpoises. I think they're like 31 feet each. They're very long, but you can just kind of toss them and they go. And I think it's probably because he does an um, over-under method for winding, which I may try to do when I wind this back up. Normally I use a figure eight method, but I'll probably just use the over-under uh, since it's all coiled up that way. So yeah, looking forward to it. If you've used a res antenna, let me know what you think. Um, and I'll probably include some information about it in the description video below. Take care, be kind to one another. Until next time, seven threes.